The nation is observing the genocide day today. The nation is set to celebrate the 52nd Independence and National Day tomorrow. Bangladesh has voted for Ukraine in favor of humanity, said Foreign Minister. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikus Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines now. The details. The nation is observing the genocide day today in remembrance of the brutality carried out by Pakistani army on the Anam Bangalis on the black night of March 25th in 1971 under the infamous Operation Searchlight. The government has taken elaborate programs in observance of the day at national level. Different political, social and cultural organizations have also drawn up separate programs to observe the day with due respect. President Mohammad Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina issued separate messages on the eve of the genocide day paying rich tributes to the martyrs of the 1971 genocide. The massacre of unarmed, innocent and sleeping ordinary Bangalis by the Pakistani military on the night of March 25, 1971 is the worst massacre in the history of the world. The brutal massacre in Dhaka was called Operation Searchlight to erase the demand of independence of a people forever. Before being arrested by Pakistani forces in the early hours of March 26, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman declared the independence. On the night of Horrific genocide on March 25th, Anam freedom fighters led by young freedom fighters and the present Home Minister Asadul Zaman Khan Kamal formed the first resistance by dropping timber in the farm gate area of Dhaka. When the Pakistani army came out of the cantonment and faced a second resistance at Bangla Motor, they also fired there. Lutfur Rahman was the first martyr. Then they carried out barbaric killing on sleeping people. At the time, the whole city of Dhaka became a city of corpses. Zubair Rahman has more on the special correspondent Sheikh Nazmul Haq Shoikot's report on the Operation Search Light of the Pakistani aggressors. When all the talks of Bangabundu failed to liberate this chain of Bengalis, the Pakistani aggressors decided to carry out genocide in Dhaka on the night of 25th March, realizing that the freedom-loving people occupied the highway. The first resistance against the Pak army was formed in the Farmgate area of Dhaka on the night of Operation Searchlight. Incumbent Home Minister and Freedom Fighter Asadul Zaman Khan Kamal took part there. He said that Lutfur Rahman was the first martyr that night to create resistance in Bangla Motor area. People break out on the street to protest with whatever they have with them. On March 26, the day after Operation Searchlight, the eyewitnesses were speechless when they saw a pile of corpses and blood all over Dhaka. Bangabundu's daughter Sheikh Hasina made the demand for the International Genocide Day on March 25, 2017 at the UN General Assembly in the United States. Zubair Rahman, My TV News Desk. Industrious Minister Nurul Mujid Mahmud Humayun has said that March 25th should be observed internationally. He added that the Pakistanis wanted to deprive the Bengali nation of knowledge through the genocide. The Industrious Minister said this at a discussion meeting of Shampriti Bangladesh at Tofazal Hussein Manik Mia Auditorium of National Press Club at noon. Convener of Shampriti Bangladesh Piyush Bandupadhyay presided over the meeting. 
The nation is said to celebrate the 52nd Independence and National Day tomorrow in a befitting manner. The government has taken elaborate programs marking the Independence Day and National Day. The day's program will begin by heralding Khan salutes early in the morning as a mark of profound respect to the heroic struggle of the nation, which suffered a protracted subjugation under the foreign rules from time to time till achieving the coveted independence in 1960. The national flag will be hoisted atop at all government, semi-government, autonomous and private buildings with the rises of sun, while all streets and important interactions will be decorated with national and multicolored miniature flags and festoons. People from all walks of life, including families of Birsreshtos, war-wounded freedom fighters, members of diplomatic corps, leaders of different political parties, social, cultural and professional bodies will also lay wreaths at the national memorial in the morning of the day. Bangladesh has voted in favor of resolution in the United Nations General Assembly to take immediate action to resolve the humanitarian crisis caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The proposal was passed by 140 votes. The vote was taken at an emergency session of the Council at the United Nations headquarters in New York on Thursday. After Ukraine raised the proposal on Wednesday, 140 member states voted in favor. Meanwhile, 38 countries abstained from voting and five countries voted against the proposal. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin has said Bangladesh had voted for Ukraine in favor of humanity. He said this at a function organized at the Liberation War Museum on the occasion of the National Genocide Day today. He also said that Russia was unilaterally blamed in the first UN resolution, so Bangladesh did not support it then. The ruling party has unilaterally presented history to the nation, even though the state was supposed to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Independence, alleges BNP General Secretary Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alungir. He made the allegation at a press conference in the capital today. BNP is trying to highlight the correct history, said the party's standing committee member Khandukar Musharraf Hussain. For this, the leaders of the party will visit Kalur Ghat radio station in Chattogram on March 26th. At least four people were killed when a CNG-powered auto rickshaw collided with a pickup at Raipura in Narsindi. One more was also injured in the incident. The accident took place at Amir Ganj area of Narsindi Raipura Regional Road in the early morning today. The deceased were identified as Ainuddin, Kayum Mia and Abdul Rope. However, police are yet to find out the identity of other victim. At least two people, including a former general secretary of Motijil Thana unit of Awami League, Jahidul Islam Tipu, were shot dead in Shahjahanpur area of the capital on Thursday night. Another deceased is Samia Arfan Priti, a student who was passing the area on a rickshaw. According to sources, miscreants opened fire when Jahid was returning to his Shah Jahanpur residence in a car. Jahidul's driver, Monir Hussain Munna, also sustained bullet wounds. All the three injured were taken to Dhaka Medical College Hospital, where duty doctors declared two dead. Now international news. The summit of NATO, the European Union and G7 alliance in Brussels has called for further strengthening of NATO's defense system. The meeting also decided to deploy another 40,000 NATO troops in Eastern Europe. Just over a month after the Ukrainian war, leaders of the military alliance NATO, the European Union and the alliance of developed countries met in Brussels. Russia has also been hit with new sanctions. The White House has confirmed that the first round of $800 million in military aid to Ukraine has arrived in Kyiv. We are about to the end. The headlines once again. 
The nation is observing the genocide day today. The nation is set to celebrate the 52nd Independence and National Day tomorrow. Bangladesh had voted for Ukraine in favor of humanity, said Foreign Minister. EU and the G7 alliance has called for further strengthening of NATO's defense system. And Italy once again has been eliminated from the World Cup qualifiers in Qatar. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old program, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook YouTube slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Allah Hafiz.